first fire was ignited on July 17th by sparks from an unattended campfire burning next to the Salmon River. The sparks created a wildfire in Moose Creek Canyon on the south side of the Salmon River. Fanned by high winds and hot temperatures, the fire raced into the crowns of trees in Moose Creek Canyon, causing a giant plume of smoke. Jay and Cheyenne Smith saw the smoke from their ranch. Their cattle were grazing in the Diamond Moose grazing allotment, high above where the fire started in the Salmon Chalice National Forest. We see a plume of smoke and we get a phone call, there's a fire on your summer range. From that moment on, the entire summer was a whirlwind. Salmon Chalice National Forest officials called for fire crews, engines, and air attack resources in hopes of stopping the fire with initial attack. First priority was to protect private property and threats to people's lives and safety. Within minutes, the fire had grown from a quarter acre to 300 acres on the first afternoon. Day two, 12,000 acres. Day three, 16,500 acres, mainly in the Moose Creek drainage, the Smith Summer Range area. So it's running through the crowns and pushing up a whole drainage. The Smiths were told the fire would likely burn up the Diamond Moose grazing allotment. For most of the summer, they had to wait on the sidelines, hoping their cattle didn't get killed by the blaze. It's horrible um, watching your life go up in smoke. It was frightening and it was stressful, but it just, you feel helpless. The Moose Creek Fire ended up growing to about 130,205 acres in size. It burned for 4.5 months from mid-July until October 31st. At times, it was the nation's largest wildfire with 1,500 firefighters engaged. Fire suppression costs $100 million.